mathematical fault analysis solved problem based on single line to ground fault so consider the given problem so 2 11 kv 20 mva three phase star connector generators operating in parallel as shown in figure and the positive negative and zero sequence reactance of each being respectively j.18 j.15 j.10 the star point of one of the generators is isolated and that of the other is earthed through 2 ohm resistor a single line to ground fault occurs at the terminals of one of the generators estimate the fault current the current in grounding resistor and the voltage across grounding resistor so this is a question asked so two generators are connected in parallel and one of from the neutral point of one of the generator is connected to the ground through the neutral resistance of 2 ohm so the given data 11 kv 20 mva and two generators are operating in parallel and the positive sequence impedance is 0.18, negative sequence impedance is J.15 and zero sequence impedance is J.10. Solution. So here two generators are operating in parallel. We are going to find the sequence impedance and we are going to draw the sequence network for all the three sequences. So first positive sequence impedance. So parallel operation of generator. So we can do the parallel combination. So Z plus equal to J.18 into J.18 divided by j.18 plus j.18 so you'll be getting j.09 so this is your positive sequence impedance and the sequence network can be represented like this since it is a positive sequence you need to represent the uh, induced emf and the impedance z plus so eg and z plus term is 0 0.09 similarly for negative sequence impedance the both the impedances are parallel so doing the parallel combination you'll be getting j.075 so the network will be consist of an impedance alone with j.075 Similarly, for the zero sequence impedance, self impedance plus 3 into Zn. Zn is the neutral impedance, and here the neutral impedance is given in ohm. The actual value of neutral impedance is given. So, we need to obtain the per unit value of neutral impedance using the formula Zn per unit equal to Zn actual divided by Zn base. So, Zn actual is 2 ohm, which is given in the problem, and Zn base can be estimated using the formula KVB square divided by MVAB. So, KVB is 11, 11 square divided by MVAB is 20. And that will be equal to 6.05 and you can substitute here Zn per unit equal to Zn actual is 2 divided by basis 6.05 you will be getting 0.33 per unit and now Z0 equal to Zs plus 3 into Zn so Zs is given in the problem J.10 plus 3 into the Zn per unit is 0.33 so you will be getting 0.99 plus J.10 so this is your zero sequence impedance you can represent in terms of a sequence network like this zs 3 zn the impedance value will be 0.99 plus j.10 so now the complete sequence network of this single line to ground fault will be like this substituting all the values in the sequence network now determine fault current so for single line to ground fault the fault current can be represented like this if equal to 3 into ia plus that will be equal to 3 into ea divided by z0 plus z plus plus z minus and the induced EM of EA is not specified in the problem so you can consider that per unit value as 1 angle 0 divided by Z0, Z plus and Z minus values are determined in the previous step you can substitute that value over here so you will be getting this IF equal to 2.929 angle minus 14.985 or 2.829 minus J.7573 per unit and now second one determine current in grounding resistor determine current flowing through the grounding resistor that is IR the current flowing through the grounding resistor is nothing but your fault current the fault current will be flowing through the grounding resistor so the fault current can be represented in per unit in the previous step we determined and the actual value of uh, fault current will be equal to per unit value of fault current into the base current so the magnitude of per unit value into the base current the base current can be determined using the formula MVAB into 10 power 3 divided by root 3 into KVB that will be equal to 20 into 10 power 3 divided by root 3 into 11 you will be getting 1049.7 ampere so you are going to substitute that here to obtain the actual value of current flowing through the grounding resistor and that will be equal to 3074.57 amps and third determine voltage across the grounding resistor so you know the current value you know the impedance value simply multiplying the current and impedance you can obtain the voltage so IR into RN so IR is 3074.57 into the RN values given in ohm to ohm and multiply you will be getting the voltage across the grounding resistor as 6149.14 volt.